right now from today's TMJ4. This is live at 5 Sunday. And now the words shouted by a Kenosha police officer just moments after he shoots a wanted man. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon Sims. Now, due to the extended golf coverage, we will join the voice in progress after this newscast. Now, let's get to our top story. We now have police radio traffic between the officer and dispatch just moments before the officer shot and killed a 26 year old man Saturday morning. Yona Gavino spoke with a witness who says the suspect drove through her yard before crashing his car and then running off. Yona, you join us live now with the latest. Shannon, at this moment, Kenosha Sheriff's deputies are still out here on scene. This repair garage behind me is still taped off, and it's about a block away from where one woman says she believes the suspect crashed a car and then took off running. As Ariel Brown made breakfast, she had no idea a manhunt would end just steps away from her home. I heard the skirt, the skirt. Here in the front of this house, a path of destruction. You can see the marks of where the tires of the car actually plowed right through this woman's front yard. The car then hopped over this front step, made its way over here, shears off the bark of this tree, but it doesn't end there. I heard him turn and then I uh, I heard it hit my car and I, then I heard it crash over there. Kenosha police say they tried to arrest a 26 year old man with an active felony warrant. He's wanted for strangulation, suffocation. He's also showing uh, caution for violent tendencies. Yeah, four, give me a physical, please. Temple is a male, white, 6'4, 190, green and brown. When the suspect grabbed a weapon, an officer fired his gun, killing the suspect. Shot fired! I want to confirm one victim only. It's a lot of police cars. I've seen a police car chase the man or whatever down there and then shoot. As investigators hammer out the details, she's a little uneasy. Another officer involved shooting hit so close to home. You can't just pull out a gun on a police officer or pull out a weapon on a police officer and think that's okay. Like, especially with all the stuff going on with all the people that's getting killed by police officers. The Department of Justice is leading this investigation, but today they wouldn't tell me any more and are still being pretty tight lipped about what exactly happened here yesterday. Live in Kenosha, Yona Gavino, today's TMJ4. All right, thank you, Yona.